Hi here and welcome to this video. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. Got a nice simple video here for you today, which is file association and how to change the file association for a file type. Now, some people do have problems with this and it and they get confused and they don't know what they're doing and all of a sudden they get into a bit of a state. And I'm going to show you a couple of simple methods on how to get around it and fix it. Now we have a picture here. Obviously, it's opening in fax. A Windows picture and fax viewer as you can see and some people like it opening that because it's quick and they don't like it opening in say Photoshop or Paint Shop Pro or something like that because it takes forever now you, normally what you can do is right click and open with and actually change the program type so for instance say for instance this tick was in here always you sometimes that is in in there and they don't realize and they go like that and then all of a sudden every time they click on it it's now bugged up the association for that file type and some people don't know how to change it back and they'll live with it and try to you know do something else with another file type they can't use JPEG so they start using other formats well there is an answer to it so basically the file association is in um, tools folder options file types and it lives in this area here so basically if you look for JPEG uh, JPG you can see it there it's now opening with WordPad that's the extension it's going to be opening with so you could actually restore this uh, here and this should fix the problem like so if you know how to get there which is pretty easy to do um, but let's just open that back up to the way it was so that restores that uh, where are we so let's open with and then change it back to choose a program and we're going to choose WordPad again just so it mucks it up so basically we could do it that way and also another easy way is this little cool little program that Ramesh has uh, come up with which is pretty handy you actually pick uh, JPG if you don't like going in that area there and you just want something a little bit simple like this you click on this uh, tick there, repair association, go like that, and then the picture's back to what you default settings. So you can, you can use which way you like, and also uh, Doug Knotts has come up with a, a default um, if there is a load of them done and you don't want to go through them manually one at a time. If you look here, you can see Doug Knotts, he's, he's made this cracking little file that actually puts the associations for every file type on Windows XP back to default settings which is really cool because basically you just have to run that file and they'll all be back to the way it was uh, when you first installed Windows which is pretty handy so for instance all you'd need to do is just click on this and go like that and basically that's it so I will put these files up on the actual description so you can download them Thanks for, thanks for Ramesh and uh, Doug Knox there for the two little tools there. So let's uh, have a little look at Vista and see uh, what is there for Vista. So I'm just going to quickly reboot um, into Vista. So we can have a little quick look. So I'm just going to boot up into Vista. And there's not there's not many programs at the moment for Vista. It's just a little couple of a uh, couple of little file types that I've got from uh, Ramesh's site. So basically, you can see the actual file association for Windows Vista, and he's put the most common file types. And as you can see, they're all pretty much there: text file, reg files, MP3, MPEGs, JPEGs. So I mean, they're pretty mostly the common ones that you're going to need and he's put registry fixes for those file types which is pretty nice of him so basically if you go to uh, control panel and actually look in control panel this is where in the default programs this is where your actual file association will live so basically click on that and this is your file association as you can see you just do the same thing as in Windows you just have to click on the th same thing and change the file program to what you want. Now, don't look like there's no restore button there for some reason. So maybe there isn't. So maybe you just need to change um, 
change the program manually like so click on paint or whatever you want and click OK okay so once you've done that that's the actual the the windows way of doing it but as I said Ramesh has come up with a, a few little fixes here for the registry and uh, all you need to do is say for instance MPEG I'm just going to open that up and drag that to the desktop so for instance if my MPEG was all muffed up and I couldn't use it properly and it was opening with different things I would just have to open I'll let it and show you the file itself and basically there's the file and that's what it's going to do to the registry okay so all you need to do at this point is just run that file um, and then hope that will be back just click yes to this and that's it job done so there are the two fixes for Windows XP and Windows Vista I hope this really helps you out and stop you pulling your air out. Thanks for Ramish and um, Doug Knox for their uh, tools. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. Please leave your comments if you've got any. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. Bye for now.